Hi, my name is David Wax, and I'm playing the role of Paul in the movie Ride. Uh, this movie, this um, this whole experience, actually was uh, it was an amazing process for me. Um, I think not only just as an actor, um, but for what a lot of people don't know, I, I wore quite a bit of hats in this film. I, I this was my first feature film that I've actually produced. Um, and then I co-produced uh, the music score as well, so I was wearing a lot of hats and uh, to be conscious of that and to start from a process, I think from the ground up, from a pre-production, uh, not just coming in just as, uh, as an actor um, and to take on that responsibility was, um, it was something that I give the most credit and, uh, and, I, and I bow down to producers out there because I know your pain. And I know what you go through, and um, and I think uh, just going through the process of of wearing uh, all these hats, being responsible for so many different things, um, was a really really uh, tedious process, but is so fulfilling now that we're coming close to the end, and um, we're actually uh, getting the the movie uh, in in wraps, and we're going to be uh, presenting it to the world. So I'm so excited to be a part of this. Um, when I was uh, in Previous discussions when we first started developing this, and I was talking to the creator uh, Brian Frank Basiglia, and he had told me the idea, and he said, uh, you know, listen, I, I got this this great uh, concept for a movie, check it out, and, and we first started talking, and then uh, he was like, you know, I'm really thinking about you as the uh, serial killer that actually takes over the identity of this new ride app service, kind of like the whole Uber Lyft movement, and. Um, and you go on a killing spree, and, and I was like, wow, you know, I've, I've never had an opportunity to, to do a role like this. Uh, and to get into the mind of a killer is, um, is a disturbing process, but, uh, but in actuality, um, I was able to tap into um, parts of myself that, you know, obviously I don't think it really anybody uh, goes through those emotions or goes through those things every day. And, um, and it was a, a rewarding feeling to come out and still be able to go to sleep at night. <laughs> um, it, was, uh, it, was definitely, uh, it was definitely a process and I gotta say I, I couldn't have, have done it without the phenomenal cast that I got to work with, Jessica Serfati and uh, Valerie Smith and Ronnie Alvarez and, and Kyle Schmidt and, and just the whole the whole cast and, and crew were just absolutely amazing. Uh, you know, Frankie Brian Frank Fasiglia was an amazing director to work with, and um, he didn't miss. You know, it's it's one thing to as an actor to bring things to the table and to come up with ideas and you know try this try that try that, but uh, and he and he's great at just you know letting an actor go and run and and, and having the the freedom to create but also to step back and make sure that the story is being told correctly and that nothing's missed. And I think uh, that's really a, an important quality in executing a, a movie <clears throat> that hopefully one day will be a classic and that we can look back on and, and be really proud of it. Um, so I, uh, I can't you know, thank him enough and of course the entire crew and, and cast. Um, it's an amazing process to be part of something that's so involved with um, pop culture, you know, I think this whole Uber Lyft movement is a really, really big deal right now, and um, and I think that it's it's very relevant for today and right now, and it's it's a really popular thing. And a crazy story, you know, we were we were shooting this movie, <clears throat> and of course um, uh, we had no idea what you know what was going to happen in real life, and we're you know, weeks in shooting, we've had months of pre-production, we're getting into this whole thing, and two days before the actual movie wrapped, um, it actually happened. An Uber driver did uh, go on a killing spree and killed about six people, I think, in one night, which is basically kind of uh, similar to, you know, obviously, the serial killer patterns of what happened uh, in, in this movie, and um, it's ironic how, you know, fiction can copy reality and reality can copy fiction and uh, although this movie isn't based off a true story these events are happening so I think um, as an awareness as a public service announcement to uh, bring this kind of movement not only as a, as a thriller and something to go see and something uh, to bring a great you know a date to and to have a good scare but I think it's um, it's truly bringing consciousness to uh, 
um, to Uber and Lyft and, and to not just jump into any car, you know, uh, to actually look at the person, look at the driver, make sure they're the person on the app, make sure, you know, uh, if you just don't want to wait and someone's calling out, you know, uh, Amanda and your name is Valerie, you know, don't just jump into the car because you don't want to wait and you just think you can get into an Uber ride. It may not be the driver, it may be this ride driver. And um, so anyways, I, I think bringing that awareness uh, to pop culture and to uh, people all around the world is it was really important. And that, for me, was a, a great thing to be involved with. Um, I can't thank Vague Entertainment enough uh, for believing in us and, and to, uh, to come in and, and, and oversee this and make, actually make this possible, uh, a Vague Entertainment production. Um, it was a phenomenal process uh, to, to be able to facilitate everything they needed and, and to bring this story to life. And I'm so proud and excited to share it with you guys. And, um, you know, I, I, think, uh, I think everyone did their job. And uh, this, is, um, this is my first film that I've ever produced. And, uh, of course, I'm acting in it as well. And uh, I just can't wait to share it with the world. So I hope you guys enjoy it. And uh, I'll be seeing you guys real soon.